Next is Crappy to my friend Captain is followed by the Flight Stars on Cartoon Network. Hakari. Hey! What the heck? Hakari. Introduce myself. I am Xiao Mei. I am the narrator of the story you're hearing. As always, once again, this video is for the same people as last time. And so the grand adventure continues. I hope we're able to meet again in the near future. Enjoy the rest of this little story of mine. Thank you. 
Sorry, bro, but next time, why don't try harder? Let's focus on the Halloween specials top 20 for 2023. Thank you. Anyway, before we start on the Batman, we have recovered some information on the Angry Beavers, the day that Earth got really screwed up. Ah, spoiler alert! When the beavers encounter Oxnard Monado, things get really creepy. Yes, same for Cat Dog in Cat Dogula, in which both cat and dog attempt to blend in on Halloween. Um, don't forget about Rocco's Martin Life. In the episode, Ed Pighead is dead. There has been some mistaken identity, thinking that Edward Jakehead is dead, or is he? As for the Angry Birds, Bad and his friends in Bad Island are all having fun for this spookiest event. But Leonard and his minions stole their eggs by scaring them. Now it's up to Red and the others to get their eggs back. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, Billy and Mandy's Jacked Up Halloween, is supposedly, like, jacked up because, we'll give you a hint, one of the antagonists is a jack-o'-lantern. Don't forget about the Ed. They had a Halloween special too. Ed experiences some visions of everyone in the cul-de-sac after ex a strange experience of B-movies on Halloween night. Shrek even had a Halloween special scared Shrekless. And it's full of scary surprises. Did you know that Ben 10 Alien Force and 2003 Teen Titans alongside Justice League 2001, Young Justice, and Justice League Unlimited, and Batman the Brave and the Bull in Superman the Animated Series all had Halloween specials? Once we review them, it's they're gonna be fantastic! Even the crazy raving rabbits even did their best to blend in on Halloween in an episode of Rabbids Invasion. Sometimes even action shows have Halloween specials. Kinda like Samurai Jack, most notably Aku, and let's not forget Witch, and let's also not forget about Happy Halloween Scooby-Doo, and what's new Scooby-Doo, because Looks like Scooby-Doo has always had a huge phobia of something, even if it's Halloween. In a Harvey Beaks Halloween episode, did you know that there was a small cameo of Chowder? We were mentioned that Symbionic Titan had a scary merry Halloween party. And, let's not forget, Tough Puppy, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and the Fairly Odd Parents all had a Halloween special as well. And if you haven't seen them, well, we recommend it. It's the best. Even the Patrick Star Show had a Halloween special. Oh, and let's not forget that Spider-Man also had one. Even the Life and Times of Jennifer Lee and Steven Universe. And Brand New Mr. Whiskers and Big Hero 6 the series, along with Tom and Jerry, Tails, and Jesse. Oh, and we should mention this. The buzz on Maggie was widely not real well received, but... To this day, it was trying its best to keep itself back up and running because, honestly, it deserved a lot more love because, in the past, it got a lot of hatred. Another thing we should mention is that Tiny Toons Adventures actually had some Halloween specials and it was kind of like an anthology. And let's not forget that Animaniacs and Looney Tunes cartoons had their own Halloween special, which was very enjoyable. And finally, the best for last, Invader Zim, in which there was a Halloween event that took place. Zim tries his best to fight back. So there you go. Those are the remaining 20. Oh, and we should remind you this. The Treehouse of Horror series, formerly known as the Simpsons Halloween Specials, are an annual tradition in which there is a Halloween episode consisting of three separate self-contained pieces. And these pieces usually involve a family in some horror, science fiction, or supernatural setting. And they always take place outside the normal continuity of the show and are therefore considered to be non-canon and completely abandon any pretense of being realistic. But according to some DVD commentary, the reason why these episodes are non-canon is because canon is a trade-off for the writers. 
So they decided to write three seven-minute segments, but they realized it was too, just too taxing for the writer. So it was proposed that they could do anything without worrying about continuity to appease them. And the yearly Halloween special was named Treehouse of Horror because the original special depicted the Simpson children in their treehouse telling scary stories to one another. However, in later years, this theories dropped the framing device the characters telling stories, but kept the treehouse title. It also takes reference of a classic horror movie, Dr. Terror House of Horrors, which was an anthology of six different horror stories. And it's real funny and scary. It's also very enjoyable to your liking. Now we all explain the specials, now you understand that they've been pushed back to next year because we do not want Natalie's mother to go full Kushina on her. Blood is boiling! Time for a royal beatdown! Huh? Whoops, that was just a joke. Oh, I hate it when that happened! You're right, Toad, but all in all, Natalie's mother is a caring person and we all wish everybody the best of luck. Be sure to tune in to Mina-chan's birthday! We completed the mission! Thank you so much for watching, everyone! What do you think? If you appreciate it, please be sure to super smash that like button. And be sure to follow my social media platforms in the description below. And in the Team Life Lights fandom channel. Please be sure to leave a comment below. And please give us your open-minded thoughts. Because we here at Team Lifelights Fandubs do not condone harassment, violence, or trolls allowed, or otherwise, Ren Hoek from Comedy Central's The Ren and Stimpy Show will haunt you down until the end of the Shadow Realm. Please be sure to subscribe to our videos and click on the notification bell. You'll never miss a video the second it goes live on YouTube and Google. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! <laughs>